Good morning, everybody. It's a little early. I'm still waking up. But uh, for today's video, I'm going to be going to go get my friend. And we are going to be to get picking his car from the shop today. It, uh, he's getting his exhaust done. Funny story behind that. He was riding without mufflers. Well, he had mufflers. But the mufflers weren't attached to the part connecting. It, it was pretty much a rusted hole around where the pipe was supposed to go into the muffler. So pretty much he was riding around with no real muffler. And it just sounded horrible. Ran like crap. And he had this for about, about a year. So he ordered some boilers to... Um, Pretty much ordered some boilers to fix the problem, get a nice little sound out of it. He's right now running some uh, BBK H uh, a BBK Catalyst H pipe, BBK shorties. So we're gonna, gonna see what's gonna sound like, and uh, yeah, we kind of we're gonna go see what what it, what it do, what it sound like, what the difference between packing in the muffler versus no packing, because my car is BBK long tubes with a BBK H, H pipe and SLP loudmouth ones, <laughs> um, meaning I have no packing in mind. So we're gonna go see what's up with his. Um, yeah, I'm about to go to the shop right now. I'll check in with y'all when I go get him. All right. So I got my boy right here. Yes, sir. We're on the way to Acapulco uh, muffler. Yes, Muffler, sir. exhaust. And they, they actually just called him and said his car was done. So. I don't know. We're hoping it's gonna sound good. Maybe not be too loud since I got the packing, like I said, it was gonna have. But you told him what I have. Yeah. You you expose me. Edit that out. I yeah. expose. I expose him what he got. I already said what I got. You told him exactly what I you got. I got long two H pipe with SLP loud mouth ones. No packing. Yes. That's fucked up. It's my car. Let me tell him what I got. All right. Oh, what you got? What's handy? Top of the morning. You feel me? Early morning type run shit. So yeah, I got the shorty heads. Um, headers. <clears throat> I got the H pipe, and I got a, uh, I got the Borla XR ones. You know what I'm saying? And we could thank this dude right here for my header setup and my H pipe setup, because during this Corona shit, they're not sending out nothing. I wanted to go X pipe. I wanted to go long tube X pipe. But I mean, if you decide to wait, or if you even schedule an appointment, you can have someone make you a custom one. No, I take that back. I wanted to go shorty X pipe. Yeah, you guys want to make you a custom uh, X pipe? Mm, I'd rather get BBK. That's like saying you rather get some Jordans or some custom Air Force Ones. I mean, my H pipe is custom. Never had a problem with it. Sounds pretty good too. I thought you had a BBK X pipe. Nah, uh, they didn't have them, so I had someone make me a special one. That's why my car was down for like three months. I was actually gonna make a video that day, but I got too lazy and a lot was going on that day. Like a lot was just going on. Shit, regardless though, I'm fired up. I'm hella juice. Well, it's the first time I'm really pulling my shit out the shop. For real, like a real shop. So, you know what I'm saying? Bittersweet. Just uh, take my money. Stop my walk. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm hella juice. I'm hella excited. You think it's gonna run better? I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah. So, in my last video at the end of it, I wanted to address something. I did say I was gonna get a new car for the project, or the, a new project for the channel. But what ended up happening was, I was looking at two different cars. I was looking at a drop top, uh, a white and black drop top like the car I have now. And um, I went out there, turned out to be a, a total piece of crap. Like, literally, everything dude said was not true. I went out, I wasted a whole day, or not a whole day, just a whole morning going out to Sonoma to try to go check on a, a car and the car turned out to be a whole piece of shit. So I was like, that didn't work out. And I was going to get a, I was looking at an 03 Cobra, but that ended up falling through and the dude sold it before we can work out a deal. So I kind of just looked at, looked at it as a sign of, a sign from above, like, hey, you should uh, just keep your car and just truck it out, dug it out, like pretty much like, so pretty much where my car's at right now, it's um, I think we either spun a bearing or it's something in the bottom end where it's gonna need a whole new re rebuild. So I already got my new cam. 
I'm just waiting on a top end kit, which is taking forever. It's just out nowhere to be found anywhere. Like that's gonna make it dead. This nigga got a spun. I, I nigga got a spun motherfucking bear. I got a new cam. Nigga, that ain't gonna make no difference, nigga. That's just the small so, piece to the problem. When nigga. my top end kit come in, we're gonna get the the block milled out to probably a 306 or a 308, depending on how bad the block is. It's probably gonna be a 306 because spicy. It don't seem. It didn't seem that bad. I don't know. What I'm, I don't know. But it's gonna be a 308 or a 306. Spicy. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on with it right now. I mean, it, it got me kind of by surprise. It didn't really give me by surprise, but it did because um, I had oil pressure. That was the biggest thing we were worried about was oil pressure. But we did hear a sound coming from the bottom end before, but it wasn't bad. It would like it would come and go. Then it would, it would leave for a while. I did an oil change. The sound went away. I had healthy oil pressure, and then next thing I know. I fired up one day after letting it sit for a week and it just boom just clapping. So Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. That's why my car hasn't been my car hasn't been on the channel lately. Um just waiting for um just pretty much waiting for the parts at this point. So I'll just be vlogging his car. Man, hey, comment whether or not you want bro he <clears throat> it's crazy. Like basically a year ago to so like now. Like, he should have been vlogging this whole time, but basically, he got so many different, like, like projects that he could put on the page. It's not his projects, but projects that are, like, are around us on his page. So, man, let him tap in with, bro. Let him know that you're trying to see, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, basically, the, the network that he's built, you know what I'm saying, and what's surrounding him. Because he got some he got some, got some, some projects that's pretty entertaining, bro. So, you feel me? Tap in. Yeah, but like I was saying, it's most going to be his car on the channel. Um, it's going to be my friend's car possibly on the channel. Um, it's going to be some other, it's going to be some cars around the channel that uh, I'm going to try to get to, but it's not going to be mostly my car, my car just yet. Um, I'll see about adding some to the channel, but I only do YouTube for fun. I'm not, I don't do it to make money. So it wouldn't make sense for me to go buy another car if it doesn't make the money to do it. So, um, I mean, with that being said, I guess we'll just see what uh what the future holds, and I'll tap in with y'all when we get to the shop. All right. Oh yeah, this thing looking a lot better. The tailpipes ain't even crooked no more. Yo, your, your tailpipes was cockeyed at first. What's up with you, bro? Here come the roast. Oh, this shit, shit look a lot different now. Bro, hold on. I just want to take a moment on camera to realize that if y'all look back, we literally were standing in this position literally a year ago, but it was his car that was in the air, and it was my bucket ass four six that was in the background. Yeah, bro. Nah, I got to see you. We might go look at this. better house how's it feel man it feel better it's definitely 
definitely didn't know what what to expect from it. We didn't know what it was gonna sound like. I didn't know what it was gonna sound like. Um, yeah, so is it feeling more a little more responsive now than it was before? Um, I know you had no mufflers. Okay, so it's the, it's, I hate those things, bro. I hate those things. Definitely need to stick shipping inside of a 50, but whatever. We're gonna get there when we get there. But it, it definitely is more responsive. I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, get into it more. To try to do some pulls, it's definitely uh, back pressure. I can feel what back pressure is, and um, I think I don't know that uh, it was still bogging out or no? Hell no. Okay, yeah. Nah, I was pulling. I, I I can't wait to get on the freeway and see what they do on the freeway. You know what I'm saying because we kept having to stop on the street and shit. Well, first, since you already home, you got it back home. You should probably you know you got your new deucer beater and your new cap. Yeah. So you should definitely change your wires out and everything. You know. Put your cap on there and you get a rotor later. So what else? I mean, it just it, it sounds better, it feels better. Um, I definitely want to get it on the, get on the freeway, see what it's gonna do. Um, it's quieter. I'm not tripping off quiet. Uh, it, I'm not tripping off it, the, the volume of it because I'm more worried about like you know speed and it being a little bit more uh, faster and torquey or whatever. And then later on, when we put that T5 in it, you know what I'm saying? We'll really see what little sounds and and those scores. It got look. Snap crackle and pops though. Yeah, no crackle and pop. Shut up. Nigga, it, it, pop, didn't, it didn't have it. It didn't. It popped one good time. It didn't. You was too far behind me. I was not too far behind yes, you. Was. Whatever. But, uh, so what's next? Your T5 or your suspension? Because your suspension, suspension is whooped. Suspension. You already have your uh, lowering springs. So. I have the lowering springs. So all I need is my, uh, my shots. And. Need, why is why while you're down there? You might as well have Rick do your. Uh, your. Uh, your Nah, your uh, rack and pinion, but. Does Rick go with kit? Yeah, but you gotta take it. You gonna have to take it back to Duncan to get a line. You can't drive it straight. Like you could drive it, but we wouldn't recommend I driving. I have to talk to Duncan and Rick. I, I have to talk to Duncan and Rick, and then when I, when I um, meet up with Rick, I'm gonna do a whole list of what I'm gonna do with my suspension. So. Well, that's, that's definitely start with your shocks and springs. That's easy. Big project. Big project. Hmm. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm I'm pretty much satisfied, bro. I mean, shit, you gotta be satisfied compared to what it sounded like before. Man. You know what I'm saying? What we need to do is get rid of that goddamn stick <laughs> or that automatic. Hey, man, get up out of here, bro. It's clean. It's pretty, it's pretty clean. It ain't, it ain't clean right now. It's pretty clean in here. It ain't, really right it ain't my level of clean. You know, my interior, my interior clean made me. I was thinking about selling my car and I looked at my interior. I was like, I put a lot of work in here. It looked good. This interior looked good. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. Cause it looked good. what you think, though? About uh, how it sound? Yeah. Sound good. Look at look at the dog in the back. Mac in the back. See, that's how you know he be bullshitting. See how he answer it sound good. Look at the dog. Oh. Nah, no, it do sound good. You, you was one tire firing, though. I was? Yeah. So you're going to need some posse. On that pool? Nah, I told you burnout. that. I told you that. But, hey, coming with the suspension job, it's going to be a whole new rear end drive, too, so... I ain't even tripping. I know. I know. I'm one tire firing. I know. I'm uh, not really. Not really. Um, giving a good show as far as burnouts and donuts. But after I get that uh, suspension job, no, that we're in. How you know who would do good? You know who do good burnouts? I'm gonna start the clip right here. <laughs> So I was editing my video and I realized I did not do an outro from a couple of days ago. So this is now two days later I'm now doing this. I'm doing this video, which is my outro. So um, yeah, I forgot to do that. But give you a little update. Um, before well, I turned the camera off, we decided to change his wires because his wires were down bad. So we changed his wires and we... we 
told him I, I told him he needed a, a rotor, but we did that. Went through a couple of other things, then we headed out. But um, that's pretty much the update for that. But here's my car now. Y'all haven't seen it. We got, uh, we, were, we got new rims, front, and back, and this is uh the bad motor. Um, did a little bit of interior. Well, actually, we did a lot of interior work. So it looks a little. I don't remember where I last stopped, uh, stopped off on YouTube with the interior work, but um. I'm going to insert a clip right now to show you somewhere on the screen. It's going to be somewhere on there to show you um, pretty much the different stages. I, I had it. I took it apart and I put it back together. So it's three photos. Um, yeah, before I was really interrupted by my phone dying. Um, yeah, so what's all new is we have a new dash pad. We have a new shifter knob, a new shifter boot, the new bezel for the shifter boot, cup holders now. I should have got. The, I was gonna get the USB, but I didn't know that this worked. But this apparently works. We got a new armrest pad. I, I bought another one of these and just upgraded the or not upgraded the hardware, but I put new hardware in it so it worked better. Um, we got a new armrest pad, a new bezel, um, a new bezel right here too. Um, the door panels are from a, a newer must a, a ninety, I think a ninety two. And then I got all new um, hardware in the doors so that it sits nice and flush. Uh, what else did we do differently in here? That's pretty much it. I got, actually, I was able to find some black back seats. I found some new back panels. I just have not installed them yet. I have the top part of the seat. I also have not installed those, but yeah, that's, that's um, everything that's new on the interior, along with, the, like I said, new rims. Then we also, Got maximum motion at lower control arms. Custom H-pipe. Um, nothing new. Up front. All right, we got a new rack and pinion. A new bump steer kit. You can't see it, but it's a new bump steer kit. Uh, maximum motor sport. Camera caster plates. Our long tubes. One wire alternator. So, I mean, it's been mostly touched for the most part. We got LEDs now. I'll show you those on another day, but... Yeah, that's um everything that's happened last year. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a, a bunch of things, but that's everything that's been happening. But uh, I might do another video going more in depth into it. But uh, for now, that's the that's the video. I'll catch you on the next one.